I'm Dr. Brad Orvis and I'm with uh, Mayo Health System at Winter Sheep Medical Center. Prostate cancer is uh, actually the most commonly diagnosed malignancy in men. Uh, most recent figures I believe are around 175 to 200,000 men per year in the U.S. are diagnosed. Like most cancers are essentially a, an unchecked growth of cells within the body that uh, uh, can uh, spread elsewhere and obviously then affect other organ systems. So prostate cancers start in the prostate gland, which is a small gland uh, below the, the urinary bladder. And uh, as, they, as they enlarge, they can spread and uh, get into other areas of the body, primarily lymph nodes, uh, into the bones, the skeletal system. And uh, prostate cancer becomes uh, more common uh, with age. So uh, uh, there's some data I recently saw that uh, about 40% of all 80-year-old men actually have at least some, uh, some, some involvement with prostate cancer. Now the vast majority of them are never going to be uh, affected by that. Um, uh, black men have a higher incidence of, of prostate cancer and uh, if there's a family history of prostate cancer, uh, the risk is, is significantly increased so, so uh, uh, patients need to be aware of that. Most patients uh, with uh, early prostate cancers are, are not symptomatic. It starts as a small, a small, you know, lesion, a bump or a lump, and uh, really doesn't affect uh, affect things. Um, that's why early detection is, is really uh, uh, important, and uh, uh, so the, the the screening that we do is is useful. Uh, in the past several years, uh, with with the advent of screening, uh, blood tests, and prostate exams, the the number of patients who are, are identified at a curable stage has been uh, increased significantly. Essentially two tests have been used for, for the past uh, several years. Uh, one is uh, a digital rectal examination, or some call it a DRD, and that's basically a, a, a examination using the, the finger to feel the prostate, um, feeling for a lump or a bump or something that would uh, you know, create suspicion in terms of there being a, a small tumor there. The second test is called a PSA or prostate specific antigen. And that's a blood test that's been available now for 30 years, I would say. Um, it, it's uh, really revolutionized um, the early diagnosis of prostate cancer. Um, screening for prostate cancer has kind of, I guess I would say, pulled back a little bit in that uh, we individualize it more. So uh, uh, we don't necessarily recommend every man get a PSA every year. If you're a high-risk individual, your dad or brother has had prostate cancer, um, uh, or you've had a, a, a PSA uh, in the past that was borderline elevated, uh, which means your risk is higher, you know, then we would recommend getting getting one. So it's uh, screening nowadays is r really uh, individualized and uh, um, really sh needs to be a discussion between the patient and the physician in terms of uh, how often, you know, when uh, uh, patients should get screened.